Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. Hello and welcome to ReneeEnergy.com. In this comprehensive video, we'll be taking a deep dive into the fascinating world of green hydrogen combustion in cement kilns. As the cement industry faces increasing pressure to reduce its carbon footprint and adopt sustainable practices, green hydrogen has emerged as a promising alternative fuel source. Throughout this video, we'll explore the principles of hydrogen combustion, compare its performance to traditional fossil fuels, discuss burner design modifications, and examine the unique flame characteristics and heat transfer mechanisms in hydrogen-fired kilns. So, let's get started. Principles of Hydrogen Combustion First, let's lay the groundwork by understanding the fundamental principles of hydrogen combustion. When hydrogen reacts with oxygen, it undergoes a chemical reaction that releases energy in the form of heat and water vapor. The combustion equation is relatively simple, 2H2 plus O2 2H2O. However, to achieve optimal combustion efficiency, it's crucial to maintain the proper stoichiometric air to fuel ratio and carefully control the excess air supply. One of the key advantages of hydrogen combustion is its high adiabatic flame temperature, which can reach up to 2000 degrees Celsius. This high temperature is particularly significant in cement kilns, as it plays a vital role in the formation of clinker, the primary component of cement. The intense heat provided by hydrogen combustion enables the necessary chemical reactions and phase transformations to occur within the kiln, ensuring the production of high-quality clinker. However, when working with hydrogen, it's essential to be aware of its flammability limits and take appropriate safety precautions. Hydrogen has a wide flammability range and a low ignition energy, which means it can easily ignite and burn in a variety of conditions. Therefore, proper safety measures, such as leak detection systems, ventilation, and explosion-proof equipment, must be implemented to mitigate potential risks. Comparison of Hydrogen and Traditional Fossil Fuels Now, let's compare hydrogen to the traditional fossil fuels commonly used in cement kilns, such as coal, petco, and natural gas. One of the most significant advantages of hydrogen is its remarkably high calorific value and energy density compared to these conventional fuels. In fact, Hydrogen has nearly three times the energy content per unit mass compared to natural gas and almost four times that of coal. This higher energy density translates to improved combustion efficiency and enhanced thermal output in the kiln. Moreover, hydrogen combustion stands out in terms of its environmental performance. Unlike fossil fuels, which release significant amounts of carbon dioxide, CO2, nitrogen oxides, NOx, sulfur oxides, SOx, and particulate matter during combustion, Hydrogen combustion produces virtually none of these harmful emissions. The primary byproduct of hydrogen combustion is water vapor, making it an exceptionally clean and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional fuels. By switching to green hydrogen, cement manufacturers can drastically reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to the global efforts to mitigate climate change. The use of hydrogen as a fuel aligns with the industry's sustainability goals and helps meet increasingly stringent emissions regulations. Burner Design and Modifications to effectively harness the power of hydrogen in cement kilns, it's necessary to make modifications to the burner design. Cement kilns typically employ various types of burners, such as jet burners, swirl burners, and multi-channel burners, each with its own unique characteristics and performance parameters. When designing hydrogen burners, several key considerations come into play. Firstly, the nozzle geometry and fuel injection systems must be optimized to ensure efficient mixing of hydrogen and air. This is crucial for achieving stable combustion and maximizing the heat transfer to the kiln bed. Secondly, flame shaping and stabilization techniques are employed to control the flame geometry, length, and intensity. This helps to evenly distribute the heat within the kiln and prevent localized hot spots or cold zones. Another critical aspect of hydrogen burner design is material selection. Due to the high temperatures associated with hydrogen combustion, the burner components must be made from materials that can withstand extreme thermal stresses and resist corrosion. Advanced alloys and ceramic materials are often used to ensure the durability and longevity of the burner system. For existing cement kilns that are looking to transition to hydrogen combustion, 
retrofit options are available. These retrofit solutions involve modifying the existing burner system to accommodate hydrogen fuel while minimizing the impact on the overall kiln operation. Computational fluid dynamics CFD, modeling and simulation techniques play a vital role in optimizing the retrofit design, allowing engineers to predict and fine-tune the combustion process before physical implementation. Flame characteristics and heat transfer one of the most intriguing aspects of hydrogen combustion in cement kilns is the unique flame characteristics and heat transfer mechanisms it exhibits. Hydrogen flames are notably different from those produced by traditional fossil fuels, and understanding these differences is crucial for optimizing the kiln performance. Hydrogen flames are typically shorter, less luminous, and have a higher heat release rate compared to fossil fuel flames. The shorter flame length is advantageous in cement kilns, as it allows for more precise control over the heat distribution and reduces the risk of overheating or damaging the refractory lining. In terms of heat transfer, hydrogen-fired kilns predominantly rely on radiant heat transfer. The high temperature and emissivity of hydrogen flames result in a more uniform temperature distribution within the kiln, promoting consistent clinker quality and reducing energy consumption. The enhanced radiant heat transfer also helps to minimize the formation of hot spots or cold zones, which can lead to process inefficiencies and product quality issues. To further optimize the flame characteristics and heat transfer in hydrogen-fired kilns, various strategies can be employed. For instance, adjusting the hydrogen injection velocity and momentum can help shape the flame and improve the mixing of hydrogen and combustion air. This promotes more complete combustion and reduces the formation of pollutants such as NOx. Additionally, staged combustion or oxygen enrichment can be implemented to fine-tune the combustion process. Staged combustion involves introducing hydrogen and air in separate stages, allowing for better control over the flame temperature and reducing the peak flame temperature. Oxygen enrichment, on the other hand, involves increasing the oxygen concentration in the combustion air, which enhances the combustion efficiency and reduces the overall fuel consumption. Another approach to improve heat transfer in hydrogen-fired kilns is the utilization of refractory materials with enhanced radiative properties. By selecting refractory materials that have high emissivity and thermal conductivity, the heat transfer from the flame to the kiln bed can be optimized, resulting in improved energy efficiency and reduced fuel consumption. Case Study To illustrate the practical application of green hydrogen combustion in cement kilns, let's take a look at a real-world case study. A practical example of green hydrogen combustion in cement production is illustrated by the Mineral Products Association MPA, and Hanson UK at Hanson Cements Ribblesdale plant in Lancashire. This project, funded by the Department for Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy BEIS, with £3.2 million, marked a significant milestone as it demonstrated the use of 100% net zero fuel mix for commercial scale cement manufacture for the first time. The trial at Ribblesdale successfully utilized a mix of fuels, comprising approximately 39% hydrogen, alongside meat and bone meal, MBM, and glycerin, showcasing the potential of hydrogen to significantly reduce CO2 emissions in the cement industry. The transition to using gray hydrogen, which can be replaced with green hydrogen in the future, presents a compelling case for the sector's move towards net zero carbon production. This initiative is estimated to save nearly 180k tons year of CO2 at the Ribblesdale site compared to traditional coal usage, aligning with the broader industry ambition to achieve net zero carbon concrete by 2050. Semex, another key player in the cement industry, has also been exploring hydrogen injection as part of its fuel source strategy. Announced in March 2020, Semex's long-term plan aims to reduce its CO2 emissions by 35% from the 1990 level by 2030. Hydrogen injection allows for higher alternative fuel substitution and reduces heat consumption, thereby contributing to Semex's roadmap towards reducing CO2 emissions and achieving its sustainability goals. These case studies exemplify the innovative efforts within the cement industry to integrate green hydrogen into their production processes, highlighting the environmental and operational benefits. By leveraging hydrogen, companies are not only able to reduce their carbon footprint but also improve energy efficiency marking a pivotal step towards sustainable industrial practices. Conclusion In conclusion, green hydrogen combustion represents a significant step forward in the cement industry's quest for sustainability and decarbonization. By understanding the principles of hydrogen combustion, comparing its performance to traditional fuels, optimizing burner design, and controlling flame characteristics and heat transfer, cement manufacturers can harness the power of this clean and efficient fuel source. As the world continues to prioritize environmental sustainability and combat climate change, the adoption of green hydrogen in cement production will undoubtedly gain momentum. 
the benefits of reduced carbon emissions, improved energy efficiency, and enhanced product quality make green hydrogen an attractive option for cement manufacturers seeking to future-proof their operations. At ReneeEnergy.com, we are committed to providing cutting-edge insights and solutions to support the cement industry in its transition towards a sustainable future. Thank you for watching this comprehensive video on green hydrogen combustion in cement kilns. If you found this content valuable, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more expert insights and industry updates. If you're interested in exploring the potential of green hydrogen for your cement plant, you can check out our technical feasibility guide at reneeenergy.com. Please click the links below for more information. Together, let's shape a cleaner and more sustainable future for the cement industry. Thanks for tuning into the reneeenergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoy the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.